Hi everyone, and welcome to the walkthrough video for the Medgar Evers house location here in Engage. We'll go ahead and get started by clicking this Start Session button over here on the left. And then we'll click on this tab up on the top left. Yours might not say Labaki, it'll probably say the name of whatever organization or group that you're working with. But regardless, this is where all of our custom developed locations in Engage will show up that you will have access to. So right here in the middle, we've got the Medgar Evers house. We'll go ahead and click on this, click on Just Me, and we will get started. All right, here we are standing in the front lawn of the Medgar Evers house. This is a 3D model of the house as it looks today in Jackson, Mississippi. We worked closely with the family of Medgar Evers to recreate a 3D model of this house, to preserve the house so everybody around the world can see it for themselves, and also to preserve the legacy and the work of Medgar Evers and his achievements in the civil rights movement. So right up here front and center, we have the first thing that I'll show you all, the commemorative plaque outside of the house that says the home of Medgar Wiley Evers, Field Secretary for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People of Mississippi. So he was the very first field secretary for the NAACP in Mississippi. He was a leader in the struggle for justice and equality, born July 2nd, 1925, and assassinated right here at his home on June 12th, 1963. If we move over to the carport, we can actually see some spots on the ground that at the request of the Evers family were added to this 3D model to show what actually happened on that night back in the 1960s. This is as the location appears today, and this is an important part of preserving the legacy of Medgar Evers and of his house. We can head on inside by going over to these steps and just walking straight through the door. And so now look around. We are in the living area of the house. We can teleport over to the couch or really go sit at any of the chairs in the location. And I would encourage you to look around at some of the details in this location. We've got some family photos that you would have seen in the house. Even the books on the bookshelves are the books that Medgar and his family would have had on their shelves here. While we're still in the living room, there are a couple things that I want to point out. This window right over here was the window that got shattered at the time of the assassination. The bullet would have come through this corner of the window right here. It traveled over through the wall right here. And if we go into the kitchen, you can see that it blew off one of the tiles. It would have come across here, ricocheted off the fridge, and then it landed on the counter right here next to the sink. So this is a great way to Put yourself in the shoes of the family that was living here back in the 60s on the night of that assassination and learn more about the civil rights movement by immersing yourself in the homes of one of its most significant players. If we head on down the hall, there's much more to see. We've got a bedroom right here. This was the bedroom of Rena, Medgar Evers' daughter. Further on down the hall, we've got our pink and green bathroom, a style of the times. Right around the corner, we've got the master bedroom, complete with an old TV and some family portraits. That's the wedding photo right there. 
And then just at the end of the hall, we've got the kids' room, which has even more details from the time, including some games and toys that you might have seen, some books and memorabilia. So I would encourage you and your students to walk through, take in all the details, and really immerse yourself in this location. If we go back outside, I'll actually show you a supplemental presentation that we've made to go along with this location. So I'll load up some media here. And I've got a slide deck that talks about Medgar Evers and his family and legacy. And so if I present this, you'll see it will actually appear on this giant screen right here in the front lawn. We've got a photo of the house as it appears today. And then as the presenter, I can just flip right through these slides. We can learn all about Medgar Evers, even review some primary source documents some census records from the 1930s. And we'll see here's Medgar Evers' name right there in the Evers family block. So there's quite a lot of content covered in this presentation. And some of it actually refers back to details and artifacts in the house. For example, we saw the wedding photo. So you might think about turning this into an interactive presentation or scavenger hunt within the house, asking students if they can find this photo, for example. Reach out to us if you would like access to this presentation. We'd be more than happy to provide it along with your access to this location. That concludes our tour of the Medgar Evers house. I hope you all enjoy using it to teach about Medgar Evers or the civil rights movement more broadly. Thank you all so much.